Good morning, ladies and gents. Today we're going to talk about the new trailer that BSG released yesterday. Uh, they released the trailer on the PC Gamer Show Twitch channel. And the first thing that I love to mention is that this the same trailer was released on IGN channel uh, with the name Escape from Tarkov 1.0 trailer. Uh, thanks to Noise Guy noticing it. But quickly after they changed the name to the Escape from Tarkov on the Edge of Darkness trailer. So, um... Maybe BG were working on the actual 1.0 trailer, but last minute they changed their plan, so maybe there was some miscommunication with the IGN. But either way, I personally don't think this is a 1.0 trailer, uh, which I will explain in a second. So let's watch it together, and I will explain my thoughts and some of the details you might have missed in the trailer. Ну здравствуй, солдат. Давненько не заходила. Куда пропадал-то? А вот и наш новый герой! Так ты на арену подался, но все равно вернулся, да? Чемпион. Да, изменился ты. Ну и у нас тут жизнь не стоит на месте. Конфликт в Таркове снова разгорается. И пока неизвестно, чем все это закончится. Похоже, придется тебе снова показать, чего ты стоишь, боец. Путь осилит идущий, так ведь? И кто знает, может у тебя и получится сбежать из Таркова. All right, so why do I think this is not the actual 1.0 trailer? Uh, first of all, BEG love to show every single thing that is upcoming in the next patch. And uh, we know that they need to release uh, BTR, they need to release um, uh, Destruction of the Walls, like you'll be able to use BTR or GL to break some of the walls on some of the maps. And this wasn't in the trailer. Um, on top of that, I feel like there is more features that are still coming to the game, like uh, landmines, um, booby trooping um, the dead bodies or whatever it's called um, and something else oh yeah and they also didn't show terminal I feel like they would have showed a little bit of terminal for the final trailer and I have a feeling this is like a teaser and there will be more coming I wouldn't be surprised if there is two or three more trailers uh, coming out to build up the hype uh, for the release of the game and whenever we get, actually get close to the release of the game I don't know when it's gonna happen maybe it's gonna be I don't know bro um, uh, 2024 new year or like I don't know April of 2025 but if I were to make any bets I would say that the game is getting released by the end of 2025 I really doubt BG are gonna move into 2026 without Tarkov uh, getting released all right so let's quickly look through the trailer and I want to mention a couple of things that you might have missed um, so first of all obviously uh, they mentioned arena in the trailer <laughs> This is the new arena map uh, for the new mode that is a bomb plant, same as in CS, you will get a backpack with a bomb and you will have to plant it on one of the sides, as you can see one of the sides is right here, this green circle. So this is just a teaser for the for the new arena map. And the voice says that you've been to arena and still came back. So arena is a part of the game, Do you want to put a heavy accent, like heavy uh, meaning on the fact that arena is important part of the game. What I personally don't understand is that you have to buy Arena as a DLC. So will that affect somehow the progression? And as Nikita mentioned in the past, there will be different endings um, in the game. You will be able to escape from Tarkov. And uh, once again, he, will sa he said there will be multiple endings. And I think one of the endings will be somehow related to Arena. You actually, I don't know, grinding ranked and using the help of Wrath to escape from Tarkov. And I think the same reason is for the cultists in the trailer. 
as we know from the recent event where you where people from peacekeeper and skier were fighting each other there were three endings uh one ending you choose to give the phone to peacekeeper one ending you give the phone to um skier well not not like this but you get what i'm saying and the third secret ending was actually giving the phone to the lightkeeper so maybe the fact that you have to do something with the cultist and lightkeeper also affects one of the endings so you will be able to escape tarkov through the lightkeeper uh those are my initial thoughts and um so this moment here is quite interesting the one with uh, mortars the one with bombing so people are running towards um, uh, the edge of shoreline and presumably this is this is where the entrance to the terminal is and they're just getting bombed. Nikita said that mortars will be in the game um, as an event and they will stay in the game on a permanent basis as a rare occasion. So first of all that made me think that like alright it's just like an event, BG are teasing one of the new events. But secondly it also made me think that maybe this is one way of gatekeeping people from uh, terminal. Because you're not supposed to go to terminal too early. Terminal is supposed to be an uh, endgame map. It's going to be a solo in-game map. Like you will be able to go in there but there will be no, no fights, no PvP, no PvE as far as I understood. Um, and on one of the... Um, so right here, we can see that the person is moving through the maps, like he moves from ground zero to labs, to streets, then to interchange, then to customs, factory, woods, reserve, lighthouse, shoreline, and terminal. And as you can see, as you can see, there is a lock on the terminal. I think that's uh, that means that all the maps are unlocked, early wipe, all right? But terminal is actually locked, so you have to unlock the map with the quests line somehow. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have to survive all maps in a row moving from map to map, which was also teased um, in the past by BSG. And as you can see, there is a little animation here of the lock actually um, opening on terminal, if you watch closely. And I think after you unlock this map, um, you will be able to go into terminal without getting bombed by those mortars. Um, yeah, and you will proceed. You will proceed with the storyline quest. On top of that, we also seen some of the. Well, I don't know if you can call it physical destruction because um, nothing was really broken in the trailer, but we can see the crane um, toppling over. So the crane is located on the terminal map, and it topples over to shoreline. So maybe this is one of the ways of accessing terminal, like actually asking somebody to plant the bomb on um, on the crane and um, that's how you make your way through. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, after that we just see some usual, usual Tarkov gameplay. And not much is happening, so I don't want to outline anything out here, except uh, people getting killed on different maps. And then we see, then we see animated proper. This leads me to think that proper is going to be just like Lightkeeper. Uh, he will be an in-raid trader. I'm not sure on which map they're going to add him. Maybe he will be on terminal, maybe he'll be on customs. God knows. Uh, but most likely, we will be able to get quests from him. I I am not a fan of the idea that you will have to physically go into the raid to the traders to actually buy stuff and then you have to extract with those items. Like you go to proper, you buy like, I don't know, bro, 500 bullets and you put those bullets into your backpack and then you extract. And on your way to extract, you can die to an exit raid, you know, like, I am not a big fan of this and I doubt BG are gonna do it. However, I believe that some of the in-game quests... Uh, might be related to the location. So let's say you go to the customs, you accept the quest from proper in that raid. You do something um, he asks you to do in this raid, like go to dorms, find an item, and you have to bring that item back to him in the same raid. I think that would have been a nice uh, addition to spice the quests up, and I hope that's what BG are gonna do. And um, I think uh, this is it. Uh, if you've seen any other um, um, small details that I might have missed, let me know down in the comments below. Give this YouTube video a thumbs up. Thumbs up really does help with the YouTube algorithm, and I would gladly appreciate that. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll keep you updated if there is any more news. Take care.